friends, it's Nate Ayers, Chew Our Permaculture, and these apple blossoms smell amazing! <sighs> it's May 2013, and we are walking on our way in a very public place to go harvest a very special crop. We found our way to the special area, and as you can see behind us, we have some very colorful friends that want to say hi. This is a nice little fir tree that's about two blocks away from Chihuahua House. And we walk by it almost every day. And you can see when I tap these a little bit, the wonderful little magical golden pine pollen. And this actually isn't anything new. Folks have known for thousands of years, especially in Asian cultures like China and Korea, that pine pollen is a superfood. It promotes longevity, is a hormone balancer, skin elasticity, has all kinds of amino acids, and we're learning now that it's actually a perfect protein as well. Now, the best way that I've found to harvest pine pollen is to get a brown paper bag and put the entire branch and the pine cones directly in the bag. Give it a little shake, a little tap, and the beautiful golden pine pollen flows directly to the bottom. Probably the coolest thing about pine pollen is how delicious it is. Once you've had a little taste of this goodness, uh, there's an essence to it that just sort of stays inside of you and you feel the good energy working. Um, it's delicious, sprinkled on top of just about any food. It's really good in smoothies, but we found that arguably the most potent way to extract the medicine and goodness from these pine cones is to make a tincture with the pine pollen. Thanks for joining me on our walk today. I hope we all learned a little bit about pine pollen and how good it is, and overall, just that there's food all around us, if we have the eyes for it. But then the funniest part is when you get home and you realize that you've got gold powder all over your clothes and your face. And you've been talking to people and they sort of think that they see you licking your hands of gold powder while you're walking home. And you're sort of just Frankie the Forest Crackhead.